What's up? You guys are here on the Carl and Ginger channel and I have a special treat for you with steel wool and nine volt batteries. Oh, smoke alarms. <laughs> you can actually tie them up and when you swing them around, something incredible happens. Time to take this experiment outside. I've seen on a couple of other channels, especially the King of Random and uh, Crazy Russian Hacker, where they've done some awesome experiments with steel wool and nine volt batteries, where you can actually tie them up with paracord and rope, and when you swing them around, something incredible happens. So I'm going all in on this one. I actually have two different five pound rolls of four zero, that's extra fine, extra, extra fine, uh, steel wool, it comes in these giant rolls, and I have some great ideas for some awesome experiments that we're gonna do today. Most of you already know that you can use a nine volt battery and you can touch it to, oh my gosh, can you imagine if I touched this nine volt battery to this entire five pound roll of steel wool right now? That would be crazy. Maybe we will, I don't know, we have two of them. I've also created this little contraption where I have four nine volt batteries all taped together, so that way when I'm out in the backyard I can just touch them down on here while I'm hanging them with the rope, it'll be a lot easier. I also have this really cool uh, FLIR attachment. It's a thermal imaging camera that attaches to my phone. I'm gonna see if I can make it work. I haven't used it before, but it'd be really cool to see the heat signature on this thing when I'm swinging around on the end of a rope. All right, I'm gonna have to roll all of this out. I'm gonna have to get it ready in the right bundles, cut the rope to length, and get everything set up. You okay? You okay, Lila Taco? Huh? Yeah, she's just sneezing. Boop. Just for fun real quick, let's just tear a little chunk of this off here. Ugh. All right, just so we can see what happens, I wanna see if my little device works here. Ready? Totally works. Oh, oh smoke alarms. <laughs> I forgot about the smoke alarms. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. Take it outside. All right, time to take this experiment outside. See, when you blow on it, it lights up like that. So the idea is when you're swinging it around on the end of a rope, it really ignites and sets off a lot of sparks. Well, that was actually really effective. Okay, so now I just have to cut the rope to length. We can tie it on there with little slip knots and everything. And then when you swing it around like a baton, then the airflow will actually create the shower of sparks. This isn't something that you should try at home. Be really careful where I set all the batteries, right? That would be crazy. myself a uh, knot at the bottom of the rope so when I'm swinging it around I have something to hang on to a little bit of a grip here's the idea we got the steel wool all laid out like in a sheet here and then I've created basically just like a slip knot like that with a little knot in the end so I'm just gonna slip it over here this was crazy Russian hackers idea. And then I've seen this on uh, King of Random's channel. Here we go. I'm gonna do it a couple of different ways though today. Oh man, this is intense. There we go. So the idea is, I should be able to go outside, touch it on the batteries. <laughs> After we try this one, I'm gonna do two at a time, and we're gonna do some other experiments. Let's do a quick little experiment with this camera on and see how it works. Testing out the FLIR cam. Uh, this is interesting because it projects the image kind of upside down, but at least we get an idea of what it looks like with the heat signature. There's the dog. Hi, Leela. I'm all set up and ready for the first experiment. I just have to go put my gloves on, touch it on the battery, and let's see what happens. Here we go. There it 
goes. Check that out, you guys. Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. I can't believe that. Look at this. It's just smoldering hot. That was awesome. It felt amazing. I don't know what it was, but that was super satisfying. It actually smells really good, too. Wow, look at that. I'd say that was a success. It's time to try this out with the FLIR thermal heat imaging camera. Let's see how this looks. You guys didn't know I could twirl the baton so good, right? Okay, that's fit. Here's the temperature of just the regular grass over here. Like there's the grass, and then over here you can see, oh, that's where it landed. Let's see how hot this is. Okay, so that's 25 degrees, and right in the center of that, Whoa, 302 degrees Fahrenheit. That is really hot right now. Look at that, 302. Check this out, I can even change between the modes, I think. Look, I can go green, rainbow colored, blue like that. Wow, that looks really cool. Oh, this will be cool. Look, this is the hose. You can see the hose and it's full of water. Check this out. When I spray the water. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here, let's see what happens when I spray it on here on the flaming uh, steel wool. Wow, that's still really hot in there. And there it is, it's all cooled off. I really wanted to try this FLIR camera again, but I wanted to do it with a little bit of a different setting on it. So maybe you can see uh, the sparks a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. That was crazy. Blew right up at me. You guys, I still have tons more steel wool in the house. I have that whole other five pound roll in there that I haven't even touched. I also have a little bit left on this roll, but oh my gosh, it's getting late in the night. I'm having a ton of fun, but this is gonna be the grand finale. I've got one on each rope like this, and I'm gonna attempt to do two at a time. You guys don't know this, but I used to actually have a, a black belt in karate. And I used to be ranked fourth in the world with escrima sticks, they're Filipino fighting sticks. So I actually might be able to do this. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, and if you guys haven't subscribed and hit the like button already and turn on notifications, please do that. It means a lot to me. Okay, I was able to do it for a second. That was a little bit crazy. Oh my gosh. I just had to get my patience. I had to calm down a little bit, but that was crazy, you guys. Look at all the smoke that went up. Oh my gosh, I hope somebody doesn't call the police department. Fire department, I need it. Jeez, that was crazy. I couldn't get the one on the right started. The one on the left went, but then I thought, why don't I just touch them together? And then that finally worked. Hopefully that was awesome. You guys, if you like this video, give me more ideas down in the comments below. Make sure and check out King of Random and Crazy Russian Hacker. I'll put their links down there as well. And you guys, check out these other videos on screen as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.